Let me show you how easy it is to create a simple flowchart using Freeform on macOS. Head to Shapes and then use a basic group at the very top. The flowchart usually starts with the rounded shape, like a full oval or rectangle with rounded corners, so that's kind of up to you. I will go with this ellipse like shape to start my flowchart. Next shape will be a process shape when we can type the process. So that's a rectangle. In some cases, you may have a decision shape when you go two ways. You answer the question and then you got yes or no way. For this kind of decision making, we need a diamond like shape, this one. All right. And with those three shapes, you should be able to assemble a simple flowchart yourself. We can edit styling a bit. So you can use different colors or even border around the shapes. So for the first one, I will use like yellow. And I will give it a border. And I will make this border in a similar color, just a bit darker. Just like that. Keep in mind, you can double tap on the shape to type. Just like that. All right, so we got one shape that we start from here, then we got process. We can modify the process color as well. And remember, we can double tap and type stuff inside. You probably got more than one step in your flowchart, so you can simply Command C, Command V to duplicate that then maybe there's some kind of decision to make so let's place a decision block over here and the decision can go both ways so we got some option for yes we got some option for no we could zoom out a bit to see more of our flowchart by clicking this minus here and then we end the flowchart the same way we get started. So we got this oval shape with end. All right. So we got all of the shapes here for a simple flowchart. You can rearrange them as you need. But how can we connect them together? We need to use a connector line over here or the arrow line like that. The connector line is a bit better because you can stick it to the shape. And then to another and then use this control points to adjust this. The advantage of connector line is if you move something in your chart, the line will follow. Take a look. So you will not break the diagram when you're making changes. You can even select both shapes like that. Head to insert and then connection line. And to add the line in between them. Insert connection line insert connection line one here then we need final line to the end and one more here all right we got all of the shapes we got all of the lines we can adjust those lines a bit take a look we can make them break like that Perfect. And here's my flowchart. Now I can simply double tap to type process steps. I can type the big question over here. And we need yes or no. So we are sure which way is what. So we can add additional text with yes road. And no. And that's how easy it is to assemble a simple flowchart using just Freeform for macOS. It's with a similar process on iPad as well. I hope this short tutorial was helpful, and I will see you in the next one.